In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use the color balance tool to color grade your photos quickly and easily. The color balance tool can be found in the color tool tab here. This tool is divided into five tabs. Master will allow you to change the overall hue of the photo. So this is not only great for color grading, but also for correcting any color casts. The shadow, midtone and highlight tabs will allow you to add color to those specific areas in your photo. The three way tab will show you an overview of those three color wheels. So here is the first photo I'll work on. To make it a little easier to see what I'm doing, I'll move the color balance tool out and expand this. As there's no color cast I'd like to remove, I'll go straight to my shadow tab first. With the color balance tool, it's really easy to quickly add some color and see what is working for the photo. If I'd like to reset my adjustment, I can just double click anywhere in the color wheel. So I think more magenta tones work well. Now I can tweak the luminosity by using the Luma slider. So I'll darken those shadows. Next, I'll move to the Midtone tab. So I'd like to warm these up. So somewhere around here. And I'll increase the contrast by lightening my midtones as well. Now for the highlights, I'll also warm these up. So somewhere around here and brighten them a touch as well. To finish, I can go to my master tab and experiment with changing the overall hue. So I think a touch cooler looks good here. Now I'll move the tool back. If I want to see before any adjustments were made, I can go to my reset button here. And if I hold down the Alt key and press, I can see before and now after. For the next photo, I'll add my color grade to a layer. So this will give me more flexibility to increase or decrease the effect. My first step will be to add a new filled layer and I'll call this color grade. I'm going to reduce the opacity to 50% and I'll show you why in just a second. So before I look at the color, I'll add some contrast using the Luma sliders. I'll select my three-way tab and I'll just darken those shadows and I'll lift the mid-tones to lighten those and I'll also lift the highlights as well. Now let's look at the color. I'll move the control point all the way to the edge, which is the most saturated point. And because my layer has a reduced opacity, I'm able to just add a tint of color. Also, it gives me the flexibility to either reduce or strengthen my color grade afterwards. I'm going to leave the midtones and I'll go straight to the highlights and I'll use complementary colors. So because I cooled my shadows, I'll warm up my highlights. Now let's turn the layer off to see without the color grade and now with and I'll reduce the opacity even further to make this nice and subtle. With the opacity set, I can take a look at the master tab to see if any tweaks to the overall hue would work as well. So maybe a touch more into the warmer tones. For even more control, I could add my contrast tweaks to the Luma sliders on a separate layer. So this way I have full flexibility to change the contrast and the color grade independently of each other. Hopefully this tutorial shows you just how quick and easy it is to add a color grade using the color balance tool.